you've taken a break. What messages have you missed? Whew. Who needs your attention? What tasks do you need to action? Prioritize them, get them done. After taking a break from work, it can be a challenge to pick up from where you left off. In this modern work workout, we will work on our communication and task management fitness. Our first exercise begins with our messages. People have continued to communicate with us during our break. We need to be able to read our messages and to see if we have any tasks to complete for any of our contacts. We might have received info that can help us continue with our current tasks. So when reading our messages, we flag messages for follow-up or we can create a task from the message. In this exercise, I want you to focus on good form, briefly reading your messages. You're looking for cues to help you prioritize and organize. Avoid thinking about the responses or answering the message, just, just do that later. In Outlook email, a flag message can be given a date for follow-up. When you use bad form for this skill, you just flag the message. You end up with a long list of messages later on to follow up, but you haven't helped prioritize the follow-up. When you use good form, you set an approximate date to complete the follow-up items by. While reading the message, make a mental note of any urgency for the tasks. Does the task need to be completed now? Can it wait till later or later in the day or maybe tomorrow? Maybe next week. Determine a realistic follow-up date while you are reading the message and you have the context of the request in mind. Outlook offers some predetermined dates that are relative to when you set the flag. Today, tomorrow, this week, Next week, and by setting a follow-up date, you have made it easier for you to work through a list of tasks and meet your follow-up expectations. So in Teams chat and channel posts, we can create a task for a post or reply. We know that. The task uses the first 200 characters of the message as the task name. It opens up the full task window and you have an option to create the task and where to create the task. As a private task, it is saved to your to-do task list. You can set a due date and a priority flag. Now if you choose to create a task in the planner plan, you have a few more things that you can set. Choose a team and a plan. Then you can group the tasks together in a bucket in your plan. You can also assign the task to yourself or to another team member. But whatever the option you choose in Teams, a link in the conversation is added to the task notes. If you need to remind yourself of the context of where that task is, then use the link and return and read the conversation where the task came from. Now using bad form, you would create the task from the message, you wouldn't change the task name, and you'd keep the first 200 characters of the message. And this makes it really difficult to identify that task, what it is, at a glance. Using good form, change the task name and simplify it so you know what the task is at a glance. Add a summary of what the task is about in the task notes and then keep the link to the conversation so you can read it in the context if you need to. Oh. Lastly, work through your follow-up list. There isn't much point in making a list if you're not gonna follow it up. We're going to work through and use Microsoft To Do to organize and prioritize our follow-up items. In this exercise, we will use the My Day list. You add items to this list that you can complete today, or you might want to make progress on it further on in the day. Open up the flagged email list, and when you have set follow-up date, then you'll see the list of items here, and they'll be sorted, or can be sorted, by due date. You can review the tasks and consider using the My Day list if you want to add them to your list for today. Open the Assign to Me list, and this, this is where the tasks are from your plans that you're working on and tasks that have been assigned to you. Review the tasks and look at the due dates. Add the tasks to the My Day list if you want to here. And lastly, open the My Day list. Drag the tasks around in the order that is going to suit you and the way that you want to prioritize your work today. All right, you've worked out what you want to do, now do the work. 
There will be distractions during the day, but you have a plan to follow up on the messages. If you don't get through the list today, then you've made it easier to pick up from where you left off tomorrow. That's a modern work workout. Practice, repeat, till it's part of your beat. See ya.